one thing I always try to stress is I just want to tell a story. You know, this whole like, you know, whether you're black or white or whatever you are, I just want to tell a story that reflects me. Boy, hey, welcome to Lend Me Your Lens, brother. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. For sure. So, want to talk to you about really what I think is a very fascinating life career that you've set up for yourself as a visual storyteller and now author of the book or the novel, rather, June Gemini. So. It's been great. It's been great. Thank you. Uh, I've been blessed to be able to just create. Yeah. And uh, from very early on, I was interested in a lot of different things. And uh, as time progressed, I was able to build proficiency in these different you know, aspects. And now um, it's great to be able to bring it all together to tell stories. Yeah. So let's let's take it back. I like to always start sort of at, at the jumping off point. Right. Mm -hmm. You didn't just kind of roll out of bed and become a novelist one day. Right. You actually started as like an Internet manager. Right. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So kind yeah, of talk yeah. me through how you started in one particular industry or, you know, field mm. and kind of, um, you know, transcended into mm. becoming an author. Well, you know, like you said, I was an internet manager that, you know, I try to drop this mixtape. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Nah, <laughs> right. I'm just playing. Well, you know, I, I've always been a designer, period. I've always been an artist. Um, the, the, what you're referring to was a period of my life when I was like corporate world. Because, uh, you know, when you're coming up as a creative, everybody's trying to tell you how you can really make a living. And it's usually somewhere in the corporate corporate world. So I went as a designer, which ended up landing a management position with Volkswagen. Um, but yeah, it started as design. Yeah. So, but from there, you know, um, after a while, you know, there's a certain hunger to really tell something that's more impactful rather than like, how do we sell something? And that's what led down this path towards uh, getting into filmmaking. Okay, but now you have some roots in, in designing and illustrating, right? So was that a college thing? Was that a hobby? How did you develop that skill set? Literally since a kid been pretty good at drawing. Um, and it was a way I just kind of expressed myself. It was just something that we could do, you know, and you, you know, you're growing up and then that goes into doing graffiti and stuff like that. But I was actually really talented. Like I can paint cl um, classically. So um, I won like state awards, uh, you know, competitions just for illustration. So that's where I started. And that went to design and then uh, so on and so forth. Okay. So, so as we begin start of, you know, talking about the, the novel June Gemini, we have to kind of start at where the imagination was even fueled for that. So as a kid, you were big into comic books, big into video games, and talk to me about how your imagination even began to stir to create a character or a book like June Gemini. Well, you know, I always, asked a lot of questions. As a kid, I was always like, you know, my mom used to tell me that I was like, she used to get upset with me because I used to take everything apart, like the TV, like get the screwdriver and she'd come home and it'd be like, because I always wanted to see what was inside of things. Mm -hmm. So that sort of, uh, you know, trait just kind of carried on to other things as I was interested in comic books and, and different worlds. And I just loved how something can be created out of thin air, but it can in some way resonate with you. But I always was like, what if it went this way? What if it went that way? So I found myself creating my own versions of those stories at first mm -hmm. until eventually, uh, you know, I started realizing that there weren't really a lot of heroes that looked like myself. And I'm not just saying um, in terms of the black aspect but I mean I'm very different like first of all I'm from Liberia um, West Africa you know but I spent most of my life in the US so I went to like private school and stuff like that so that you know the education was there so I consider myself a very like eclectic person um, across you know various aspects so all of that just kind of mixed into how I came up with this story um, of June Gemini okay all right so now how are you feeling like 2018 you know we've had Black Panther all, all these various characters are starting to sort of emerge. So are you 
feeling inspired more as an adult than you were as a kid or kind of where are you in terms of what you're seeing in the culture right now? Well, what's great about what I'm seeing is kind of what I envisioned, you know, what I hope would happen, mm -hmm. you know, which I hope to contribute to as well. You know, I, I knew there were other people like myself, creators that really had amazing stories to tell. And, you know, one thing I always try to stress is I would just want to tell a story. You know, this whole like, you know, whether you're black or white or whatever you are, I just want to tell a story that reflects me. You know, I'm a black man and I love that. So, of course, that's going to be in there. But there's a lot of other things that I'm also interested in. There's a lot of other pieces, um, you know, perspectives I have. So it's great seeing all these sort of projects come to light and get the recognition they deserve. You know, because a lot of them, all, you know, they've been there. We've, you know, projects have been out, but they just weren't getting that, that spotlight. So it was great to see that, and it gives me confidence um, that, you know, when when June Gemini is at that stage, that you know, it can be received just as well as the others. Let's kind of unpack June Gemini a little bit. Can you give our audience just sort of a, a look inside the world of June Gemini without giving too much away? Oh man, that's that's so hard. <laughs> you know, you know, it's my story, so I, I tend to want to uh, tell, but I'll try to be uh, precise. Um, the story really revolves around a young man that gets these abilities around a time when the world is sort of like it is now. Um, a lot of you know climatic sort of anomalies have occurred. You know, for instance, there's a snowstorm in California, which never happened which again goes back to uh, the way my mind works when I was like, you know, cause I grew up primarily in the East Coast and I was like, what if the weather switched? What if one day we woke up and East Coast was the West Coast, you know, like what kind of effects that would happen? So there's a catastrophic earthquake in New York and there's a, 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 a crazy sort of like blizzard slash hurricane here um, in Los Angeles. And then um, that kind of pulled back to what would cause that? and who would be the heroes in that situation and what would trigger and how does that have not just on the hero itself, but also uh, like a global impact. A snowstorm and a tsunami hit California at the same time. A surge of energy rushes through your body. So what does all of this have to do with June? When you are able to do things that no one else can. Have you noticed any strange behavior involving your son? Anything that you might not be able to explain? So I sort of took the elements that exist now and sort of, you know, sprinkle some supernatural elements on it and, and the central character being this young kid from New York named June. Okay. All right, so now we have folks watching who they have an idea for a book and they're in that place where, you know, they've started maybe writing some things down and they want to get from, from point A to point B. I think you had some really great uh, just stepping stones in terms of bringing this book to life. So can you talk to, um, you know, some just the practical things that you did to actually create this novel, like your process? Hmm, great question. You know, I think, it's always simple things, right? When you really think about it. And, and the one simple thing I can say to anybody trying to create a novel or any project is isolation. You know, I can't stress that enough. And that means um, just 110% focus on what it is you're trying to do over a consistent period of time. Um, you know, as some people have discovered through, you know, my recent like writings and things like that, I actually wrote the first draft of the book in one week. And the reason I was able to do that is because I literally did just that. Now, mind you, you know, the process of getting a book from in my mind to, you know, published is it took much longer than that. But from the story to the depth of the characters to what's happening from chapter one to chapter 22, one week, you know, and I think that's something that just attests to the human spirit, you know, and, and, and focus, I think, is really all you need to apply. Uh, consistent focus, and I think you'll be able to uh, accomplish whatever it is you're trying to do. So you did something really unique in terms of dissecting each chapter. You broke it up into moments. Why did you choose that particular process to write the book? 
Well, it was what came naturally to me. Um, and of course, it's not the best way or the way I feel like it's perfect, but it, it felt the most way that made sense. Um, because I think when we tell stories and even when we think of points in our life, everything's from moment to moment. You know, I can think about, oh yeah, I remember me and my cousin did this. Oh yeah, and then remember did that. So when you really compile that, you know, um, and one of the, a tip I picked up from a guy who I, I used to work with was to lay uh, your ideas on index cards. And I literally did that. I took each moment or each thought, put, put it on some physical cards. And that's another thing too, you know, when you asked about um, tips, um, don't, don't underestimate the power of having something physical. Um, you know, I have a book this thick of just like June Gemini thoughts and ideas that had been collecting over time. So when I went to write, I had that, but the main thing was taking these moments and placing them on index cards, having them physically in front of me and having the ability to literally shuffle them, you know, without having to hit delete and move around and like open a laptop. No, like right in front of you, you can literally place things and then you just naturally will start to see some sort of a timeline and holes will start to be filled because, you know, if you got it from here, you went to there, you can kind of figure out what happened in between. So that was the main thing. Okay. All right, so now I mentioned at the very beginning that you are a visual storyteller. And so one of the things that really just compelled me about June Gemini was just how beautiful visuals around the book were. Um, and so you've sort of taken that and you've now launched a new venture, Paradise TV. So can you talk to us a little bit about Paradise TV and what your intention is behind Paradise TV? Well, Paradise is just an opportunity to create content that I feel is uh, important, but also uh, have a level of creativity and quality to it. Um, it came out of a love of, you know, I make a living as a content creator and, you know, unfortunately there are projects and things I have to do that I'm not the most passionate about. I mean, I think anybody can relate to that on any level in any, any uh, um, aspect, but um, Paradise allows me to create things only that if I had a choice that everything I did, that is what Paradise is about. So um, our tagline is higher content because we want to create content that rises above what we see as the noise. That's sort of standard now in uh, just social media, uh, the internet as a whole. Nice. I love it. So tell our guests how they can find June Gemini and as well as follow you and everything that you are doing in your work. So you can find uh, June Gemini at junegemini.com, which will direct you to the book, which is available right now on Amazon and also um, on Barnes and Nobles. You can also pick up a digital copy on Kindle and um, iTunes as well. And you can connect with me um, at Mr. Kofa, and that's phonetically M-I-S-T-E-R-K-O-F-A, and also the June Gemini Instagram, um, just June Gemini as it sounds. Dope. Appreciate you coming by.